Joining us today on this edition of On the Line is the new head coach of the William & Mary men's basketball team, Dane Fisher. Coach, thank you for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm very well. How are you today? Doing just great. Coach, first of all, welcome to the CAA. What excites you the most about coaching in this league? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, in the 14 years of the Division One level, um, I've never actually coached in the CAA, but uh, if I went back and looked, I'd, I'd have to double check for sure, but I'm guessing that we played uh, at least one to, to two teams every year in the CAA with our non-conference schedule, the places I've been, and uh, I just think it's a phenomenal league, uh, great players, great coaches. Uh, one thing that I think is is really neat is the different styles of play that you see in this league, which which sometimes you don't always see uh, in league, so uh, certainly excited for the opportunity to compete uh, for a full season here. Congratulations again, and with this being your first head coaching opportunity, what are some of the differences or challenges that you are facing? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest difference is just the way that uh, our time is utilized uh, as head coaches. You know, I, I, I've kind of joked with my with my wife uh, when I was an assistant, you know, I'd go home at night, she'd be like, well, what'd you do? And I just kind of had my day scheduled out and just kind of walked her through the day, and that was, that was kind of it. And, you know, when you're a head coach, you, you definitely get pulled in a lot more directions and, and more people need your time. So I get home at night and she's like, what'd you do? And I have to like kind of think, I'm like, you know, I, I can't totally tell you exactly what I did today, but I, just, I know I was really busy. Uh, <laughs> so you, the, the, the to-do list doesn't, doesn't quite get checked off in the same order that it did when I was an assistant, but uh, that's been a welcome challenge. Well, Coach, you also get the opportunity to coach against a former collegiate teammate of yours in Zach Spiker at Drexel. What is your relationship like with him, and how much are you looking forward to, to coaching against Coach Spiker a few times a year? Yeah, Spiker and I go uh, a long way back, and you know he was actually um, really instrumental um, to my playing career first uh, at Ithaca. He was a senior when I was a sophomore. We had a really senior-dominant team that year, and, and he was a great uh, person to kind of bridge the gap and, and help me feel real connected to that group, which which was really helpful for, for me personally and, and for our team. And, you know, then when I wanted to get into coaching, he was one of the most uh, influential people in terms of just trying to help me make connections and, and, and meet people and, and just talk about how the business works. So, you know, he's always been a guy that I've, I've really admired for that. And then uh, certainly had a ton of admiration for how, you know, he's gone about his career as an assistant and, and then as a head coach. And, when he was at Army, I was an assistant at Bucknell, so we did get to compete against each other a couple of times a year, but um, I'm sure it'll be a little bit different now uh, with both of us being head coaches, so uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment for us. Um, it's always hard when you're when you're going to compete against somebody that you're very close friends with, which we are, but, um, you know, I'm sure that if, if, if you went back in time and, and told the two of us when he was a senior at Ithaca and I was a sophomore that this is where we'd be in, you know, 15, 20 years from now, I'm guessing we both signed up for that really quick. Coach, without giving too much away, what can fans in the CA expect from a Coach Fisher-led team and maybe some of the X's and O's in your style of play? Yeah, I think from a coaching standpoint, the, uh, the, the things that I'm most concerned with is that um, I want us to have similar values every year. Uh, defensively, I, I want us to take, take away easy baskets, so I don't want us to go up transition. I don't want us to get the team second shots. I don't want to let teams get to the foul line. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, I want us to take, the, take, take care of the ball, shoot great shots, and, and get ourselves to the free throw line. And, and I want to be very consistent with those values year to year. Uh, but the other part of it that I want to be able to do is be, be flexible with our scheme and our X's and O's and, and play to our, the, the strengths of our personnel. And, you know, if one year we, we play a little bit slower, throw the ball a little bit more inside – uh, because that's the best way to achieve those goals, and that's what we'll do. And if the next year it's it's playing faster and, and spacing the floor more, uh, then we'll go about it that way. But but I think it's really important to to have you know the same values. If you saw us play year to year, those would be there. And like I said, we'll adjust that scheme to to our personnel strengths. Coach, your reputation has been known as a great recruiter. So here's the last question for you: Give us your recruiting pitch for William and Mary. <laughs> well, I think that we've recruited really well all the places I've been because um, we haven't really had a recruiting pitch. Um, <laughs> we, uh, recruiting is a lot more about finding the right fit. And, and I think to do that, you have to be really good in your evaluations. Uh, we talk all the time as a staff about the ABCs of recruiting when it comes to, to evaluating and the ability to, recruit or to evaluate 
the academic ability, the basketball ability, and the character of a, of a young man you're recruiting. And I think when you can be really thorough in that uh, and, and you find guys that are the right fit for the institution you're at, uh, one of the things that we want to be about here is there's a, very, there's a big difference between accumulating talent uh, and building a team. And, and when you're going to build a team, you've got to be really good with, with your evaluations and, and you've got to take the time to do that. So, um, so I wish I told you, I, I wish I had like a great pitch that I could just give to you and, and tell you what it was. But, um, but it's, uh, like I said, I, I really believe it's way more about being able to evaluate and find the right fit. Thank you so much, Coach, for joining us on the line today. Good luck this offseason and look forward to seeing the tribe on the court in the fall. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.